Mapping is working on her fourth path, visionary communication. The level two project is an introduction to Toastmasters mentoring. The purpose of this project is for Gloria to share some aspect of a previous experience as a protege. Five to seven minute speech and it's titled Words to Live By. Please join me in welcoming Gloria Darling. Yay! Come along with me down memory lane. 30 years ago in my director's office, Ms. Bonnie T. She was also my mentor as we had a discussion. Quite frankly, I was whining. I said, Terry told me this company values managers with at least a bachelor's degree, and who dressed with the glamour look every day. Bonnie leaned towards my side of the desk and nearly whispered, I don't have a degree of any kind. I am where I am from hard work and knowing my stuff. I said, yes, but you're the exception. There is no one else in headquarters at your level without a degree. I was most bothered by her glamour look on it. I'm a divorced mother with three children. We don't shop in the same places. Bonnie listened to me for a few minutes more then sat back in her chair and said, my advice to you is a list. Pay close attention. Join Toastmasters Club. Uh, the presentations that headquarters are concerned with a, is great communication and public speaking skills. They're not interested in the glamour look. Your resume notes three years at the University of Miami. If you can afford it, re-enroll. If not, there are other universities in Miami-Dade County. Pick one, go there and finish your bachelor's degree. Anything, it could be basket weaving. That was one of her favorite lines. Basket weaving, I don't know any place that offers that, but she said, even if it's basket weaving, get a bachelor's degree. We can help you with your schedule, go part-time. You already dress in an appropriate business manner. Ignore Terry. Glamour is her style. You must be who you are, period. Bonnie then pointed out to me the primary obstacles I was concerned with were things that I could address and do something about. I could make an action plan, work that plan, and find success. With all the words she shared with me that day, the words that impacted me the most and that I continue to live by today when encountering obstacles is a question with two options. Can I change the situation in any way to overcome the obstacle? Option one, if yes, then do it. Option two, if no, accept it and move on. And now for the update. Within a week of that conversation, I joined 
Coral Gables Toastmasters Club number 1695 in District 47, where I earned my competent Toastmasters Award. Some of you may remember what that was. I have one. And shortly thereafter, I earned a promotion to supervisor of consumer relations. I was on my way. Also, I returned to school part-time, participated in the company's employee tuition assistance program, and eventually earned my bachelor's degree. I ignored Terry's style but updated my wardrobe in my own style as my budget would allow. Bonnie married her second husband and moved to Kentucky. Alas, we lost track of each other, but her words lived on. I've had many other mentors throughout my life as well as I have mentored other people. With great respect and gratitude, it is my pleasure to share my experience as a protege who was guided by a true woman of impact. Should you have the opportunity to mentor someone, especially a young person at the beginning of their career, please do it your protege will be grateful and you will reap so many rewards. Please pay it forward with words to live by. Madam Master of Ceremonies. There was no wagnish, wagnishness Ooh, that one was hard to say about anything Gloria said tonight because that was all solid advice. And now, May Tran, the facilitator extraordinaire, take it over. Thank you, Madam <clears throat> Master of Ceremony. I am going to call up a three wagage. <laughs> Criticizers, how about that? Okay, we're not criticizing. We are constructively helping others to make it better, right? How about Cookie? You don't have a role, right? Peter and Kennedy. Oh, Kennedy has a role. You want me to call somebody else? Terry. So Gloria, that was a wonderful speech. And yes, certainly that, uh, you know, every one of us has a mentor and some word that the mentor give us may not have a lot of meaning, but meaning a lot to us. And uh, it does change the life forever. I mean, when I was in studying accounting, I asked my professor, you know, how can I, Pass the, if, what, what can I do to pass the CPA exam? And his answer was simple enough. If you never give up, you wanna pass. Oh, you know, those are the little things that the, you know, my professor or some other mentor might say it, and it did make sense. So I, I try until I pass, took me four times, but I passed. So I proved that he was right. So education is certainly key factor to be successful in America. and doesn't matter how talented you are, sometimes that little piece of paper you don't have, you may not get to where you need to be. So it's always great to pursue the education. And there was, I know I totally agree, was a wonderful speech. Gloria, that uh, that was a very nice speech. And it clearly that that whole uh, tale means a whole lot to you, and 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 you were really able to communicate the 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 depth of the meaning to you to your audience. So nice job there. 
a little bit of growth, though. You looked like you were reading it just a little off to your left there. So <laughs> exactly. So uh, maybe maybe keep the notes handy, but try to internalize a little more. But also positively, I noticed how well you 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 were working on your on your pacing and your use of pauses and your vocal variety. Uh, so uh, I could really hear that you you've been working on that. Nice job. Gloria, uh, two things that folks haven't mentioned yet that I would like to mention, and I'm not being waggish when I talk about you putting us in the office with you, with your mentor. Uh, that's a wonderful skill, and I hope to see that continued in your future speeches. We like being there with you. The other thing I really liked about your speech was how well organized it was. You mentioned the points that your mentor told you to work on. And then circling back uh, with the uh, centering with the update, you talked about specifically the ways that you followed through and that's wonderful. And the way you wrapped it all up at the end with the things that uh, you want us to remember, uh, that's great. I can think the, the only thing I would suggest is, as mentioned before, um, that you were reading it a little and I like your speech mannerisms they kind of remind me of somebody telling the gospel which is which is kind of cool but that might not be for everybody uh so my challenge to you is uh experiment a little with your style your style is your style it's you I wouldn't want you to change your voice if you're not comfortable with it but feel free to try other ways too Thank you so much, Waggish team. <laughs> Let's go out and make it more waggish. <laughs> Back to you, Madam Master of Ceremony. Who's ready for a joke? 